Okay, y'all, welcome back. It's Big Al. Uh, this time around, we're going to take a look at a couple uh, disc detainer locks. Now, um, if you're not familiar with Daz Evers, uh, Daz Evers has his own YouTube channel. Again, if you're not familiar with him, you probably live under a rock. Uh, he's he's become really, really good with uh, disc detainer locks. And him and I, we both get a lot, a lot of the same question. Um, how do you start out with disc detainer locks? What do I start with? What kind of lock do I get? And again, a lot of people, um, they have this pick, which is from Sparrows, as opposed to something like this, which is the silver bullet. Now, a lot of people can't, everybody can't get the silver bullet. I understand that. But you also have to understand that if you had the silver bullet, you would use this, use this as opposed to any of your other tools, because it's a fantastic tool. So you've got to understand that, uh, again, if you've got one of these, trust me, you're going to use it. But I get it. I get not everybody's going to get one. Uh, more people are going to have something like this. Now, I didn't start out with something like this. Just like Daz Evers, we both started out with junk that we modified to work. These are some modified already. Um, you get something that starts out with a set that looks similar to this. And you modify your tools, like I did this. Made my own tip, and then I grinded this tension part right down down here so it would fit in a lot of uh, disc detainer locks. On the tool that looks like this when you get it, I took, and again, I made my own tips out of these uh, same thing Daz ever showed on this video, these push pins for rear tension. And then I took a piece of feeler gauge, drill a hole in it. Of course, this isn't finished yet, yet. Drill the hole so it fits over that part of the rod. Silver solder it on because silver solder works really, really good. And then you shape it down until you have your little fingers. So I didn't start out with a silver bullet. I started out with garbage. And then I learned how to make my own tools. And then I've got the tool like this. And then I went and got the silver bullet. So you don't have to start, you know, start where you're going to start. But... You can pick up one of these, most likely. Um, they may be sold out again. I don't know. They keep selling out, but eventually you, you'll be able to get one. Then you just grab yourself a couple of cheap, and I mean cheap, disc detainer locks like this. And like this. This is a super duper cheap, uh, what I would call a piece of junk, disc detainer lock. Get something like these. And when you get your tool, just start practicing. Um, but I've got to tell you, when you get one of these, um, what's the old saying? A hammer does not a carpenter make. It's going to take some practice. You're going to have to learn how to pick them. You can't rake a lock like this. So you have to, if you're not good at like single pin picking locks, um, then it's going to take you a little bit longer to learn something like this. But you can do it. Slow down, take your time, and practice. So let's go ahead and see if we can't use the Sparrows tool. And get into something like this. Uh, we're going to take and rotate the disc. By the way, for that Daz Evers video, he did a great job. I'm going to put a link to it on this video and share that because uh, uh, I don't have the time to make a video like that. So we'll use his. Okay, rotate all the discs. And what you want to do when you grab, we talk about grabbing that first disc. So get the tool in there. And again, when you grab that first, or actually it'd be the, the one at the bottom, I call it the first. Uh, you want to make sure you're only grabbing one disc. If you grab more than one disc to tension on, you're going to be there for a long, long time. Uh, so, grab one disc, and let's start a pick. And let's start up at the uh, same end. Okay, catch my breath here. Alright. I'm going to call that one good. That one feels pretty tight. I'm going to call that one good. Call that one good. That one feels tight. I'm going to call that good. This lock feels really bad. Uh, tight. Okay, that Oh, There we go. <laughs> so, just like that. So that's how you do it. You just, uh, again, like the saying goes, a hammer does not a carpenter make. When you get one of these, it's it's not a magic tool. Um, 
it, you're just not going to be able to start popping these locks left and right when you get one of these. It's going to take some practice. It's going to take some time, but you can do it. Trust me, when I first started watching um, Lock Picking Lawyer and Bosnian Bill and, and, and many others picking disc detainer locks, I was intimidated like crazy. I bought a couple of the locks, started making my own tools, and I just couldn't open them. I couldn't figure out why. Then I got my first one open. Then I got the second one open. Then I figured out what I was doing, and I moved up to locks like Abus locks, and then the Abus Plus. Once you start feeling the gates on the disc, it's, it's, you're going to get it. The light bulb is going to come on, and you're going to get it. So that's it. Um, that was the cheap reset, I guess it's called. Uh, not sure. I think I got this off of eBay. Pick up a couple of cheap locks when you get your tool and practice. Again, I want to uh, share that link from Daz Evers. Daz, you did a great job on that video of how to make your own homemade tools. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Thank you.